Hey guys, um, I'm just sat here eating some biscuits and uh, just got in from work. I'm still in my work uniform. And uh, I tripped across a comment, um, but it wasn't just the comment that prompted me to do a video, but it was also I had a good shift at work and a few people have said to me what a positive change I've made on their life and what care I bring to the table as a carer and how rewarding all this kind of thing is and then to come home and hear the same from players of Orcraft it is is very wonderful to hear um, that I'm still making a difference um, that I have made a difference and I know the decision seemed off the bat and quick and I didn't make a good job of explaining it on the stream um, because I didn't really have a plan and I, I needed some time to stew and, and think about what I was doing but oh craft has helped me Warcraft has been beyond words. I mean, I'm surrounded by people who I really like and I get on with, which helped me to understand myself as well. It's took me a long time to get to the stage I'm at where I, I now see a vision of the future and I can see where I'm going and I have positive insight as to where I'm going to go, which I've not had in a long time. And that's all because of the lessons I've learned and the people I've spoke to. And I am more than thankful to the people who kept me going. I mean, I know I brush it off. And I know there's so many things that I don't say and I sometimes forget to say. But I just... I just know that people on Orcraft do make a difference to people's lives and people around the world, you know... And they made, they made a difference to my life. Now, as a non craft player now, as I'm not whitelisted, usually just means I'm not supposed to share my videos to all crafters. But my viewing, view fan base, whatever you want to call it, subscribers, people who follow me, are all crafters. And while I can't make this channel family friendly anymore, I can, but I, it's just not going to happen with the games that I want to play. So that is an issue. But what what I want to say with the decision that I made that I was unhappy and I was trying to make something work that I just don't think will and it, it really sucks it you know it grounded to a halt and after I've done so much and I've, I've gone so far but if I become fixated on something that becomes primary and it is so difficult when I've got these obsessions to overcome those and when they're about ranks or when I'm obsessing about something like that that's that's where I'm hosed that that that's where you're completely frozen in a possibility for something bad to to go on or for you to self doubt yourself or and I've heard this before and I'd, I was, it took me a long time to contemplate what was going on, what's the meaning of all this, have all the questions and 
I'm just trying to work out what was going on, and, and in reality, it was going on. I've lost weight since I've left Artcraft. I, I've had such positive, positive change already. But and that's what you guys need to know. That I'm all right. I'm not particularly happy about the decision, but I just, I just know it'll benefit me. I have done so much positive and I have neglected to remember all those things. Like that behind me, that on the wall is my driving test pass certificate. I want to share with you my experience and of passing my driving test and I nearly got it first time. Um, I just went in the wrong lane on the roundabout, but because I failed on that one time, I got more aware, road awareness, more confidence in that time, because I, I wouldn't have been the same if I if I'd passed on that day. It wouldn't have been the same, and I let nerves get the better of me. So don't, for people who are taking driving tests soon, it is hard. So don't worry about that. It's hard for a lot of people, and probably hard for everybody, in some form, you know, some shape or form. I'm trying not to <laughs> to show off any details. Um, so, yeah, I know I look a bit scruffy looking. I, I need to have a shave. I have gone to work like that and I really shouldn't. But, <sighs> yeah, I'm, you know, I don't feel in a position where I'm being judged. You know, so that's good. But before I go from the vlog today, there is something you need to know that is pretty important and is in relation to Warcraft and and everything I'm not in a position where I feel I have to please the founder I don't I don't feel I have to please Stuart Duncan anymore and while that sounds very bizarre It's always been about that. How I just hoped I didn't say the wrong thing. And just hope I was doing the right thing. And I, how I took a lot of inspiration from that man. But I've got my own journey. And it's going to be a good one. But it's going to be tough saying goodbye to you a lot. It's been a hard, hard year. I need to drop the camera. It's been a hard year. I'm still getting over the loss of my grandma. You know, that that person that you could always go to, you know, the person you could always go to, and she was there, she always made me welcome.
Oh man, it's quiet without her. I don't, I don't say it to be morbid or, you know, or anything like that. It's just, I just know one thing. that the family at the moment is struggling. Their parent is on what's called end of life care. And it's a long process and sometimes can be short processes in care. Sometimes short and it sometimes can go on a long while. And end of life, they stop drinking and stop eating and all medication stops they get the the few odd ends of drinking but they try not to make them drink because the chances are they'll you know they'll struggle to swallow so those problems come up quite early on before they are actually diagnosed on the palliative care and on on to end of life care and i've sat by that gentleman this evening and last night, uh, sorry not last night, a couple of days ago, and he's still going, I mean, he's, he's, he's still going, but what I mean to say with that is, be, keep being the support, that's all I can say to you, I sat there during my break time, and sat with that gentleman, he had his family around him, and I respect that they, the family may want some privacy, so I have given that. You know, I left a bit earlier tonight because I know that they need that privacy, because he hasn't got long. Um, but the, I have sat with him, and while he doesn't really talk anymore, he knows that we're there, he can hear us, and he needs to know that we're there. And I see that it's needed. I just did it because it was needed. Does it sound familiar? It sounds something like Stuart said. And it did. And it it, it is. It's something that's needed. They, that family needs the support. And they need someone who sat there. And I'd rather do that than be on Orcraft. And I don't mean that in a nasty way. But that gentleman needs us. He needs me. He needs a carer. He needs, He wants me. And the fact that the wife came in and was stroking his hand and said, so-and-so's come in the room and, and they've come to see you. And... He sort of nodded his head and then then after they said Brendan's come to see you and then his face lit up he smiled and I've never seen that well you know I know my care means a lot to people but for that for that that is one thing that I will never be able to that was just wonderful because the fact that my care means that to that person that that I meant so much to my grandma and I didn't realize how much of a difference I made on people's lives it 
what a change that you can make on somebody's life. And the, the change that we had at Orcon when we met in person and we did those amazing things and we did that we did that together all of us we we did that together and that was that was the most amazing thing I could ever have thought because the fact that that was real the love is not just on video games or on PC it was there in reality and the difference that I've actually made on people the difference you all make we, we all make was just amazing to see in person and what I'm trying to very hard to say is I'm gonna miss you all. But it's for the best. It's not a punishment. I'm not punishing myself. I'm not using it as a thing to dwell and I just know it's the right thing to do and I don't want to do it. Do you hear me? I don't want to do it. I wish I could make it work. But I just don't think I can. I'm going to keep doing the thing that I know makes me happy and that is doing care. Whether or not I had a helper tag in front of my name does not make any difference does not make a definition of me because I know what I am I know what I am to a lot of people and that is what I've begun to realize this year what a difference I made in my grandma's life never mind anybody else's at this stage what a difference I made on my grandma's life I meant so much to her. And my next door neighbour I don't even talk about or think about. What a difference I made to her life. And how happy she is that she knows me. And the conversations that we've had. And them across the road. You know? And the countless, countless residents that I've cared for in the past. That I've made a difference to one or the other. What I mean is, what I want to be the final thing of the video is, you can do anything. You can. Change somebody's life for the better, because there's no better feeling like it when you realise what a difference you've actually made. Yeah, it's not senior helper. Yeah, it's not helper. It's not buddy. It's it's not art crafter. What it is is real. And it's there. And that's one thing that ranks cannot determine. That cannot be the obsession. So just think about that. And just think as another art crafter when you're down that other people are getting ranks and things. Just remember that there's nothing more real than that. Making a difference and having a thing up on the wall that says you've passed your driving test. You've passed the tuber examination and...
I'll be alright. I've got a smile on my face, so we must be going somewhere. I need to go and get some rest now. And I'll upload this. Excuse me. Whether in the morning or I might just upload it tonight. But whatever happens, I want you all to take care of yourself. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.